Hi there guys, this is John from ActiveJR.com and in this video I'm doing a full review of the Acquira water leak sensor. In this video I'll be taking you through the unboxing, I'll also taking you through the design and the build quality along with how to set up this device as well as some testing to see how this device performs. First of all I'd like to thank you for watching this video on ActiveJR.com and also don't forget to subscribe as it's really appreciated. Also if you like this video give me a like below as this helped this channel a lot and if you've got a question or a comment then please leave it below. If this video helps you and you want to buy one of these then check out the links in the description below as they help support this channel at no extra cost to you. So with that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So starting with the unboxing, it's a pretty simple affair. The box is pretty similar to what you find with an Apple product. I wouldn't say it is as premium. In the box, you get the leak sensor along with a welcome card and a manual. Now the manual is in English and it's got various other European languages as well. So that's really helpful if you need that to set up. Now looking at the design, the device is made of a plastic shiny material with this water symbol on the top. This is also where you find the pair and reset button. Uh, turning over the device to look at the base, in the middle you've got a slightly raised bottom and this comes in handy when it comes to uh, detecting water, more on that later. At either side you've got X screws which are the water contact sensors and in the middle you've got the battery compartment. Now the battery comes out by uh, either using a coin or a knife to turn around and it's also got a water seal inside because this is IP67 waterproof. Now turning our attention to those uh, water contact sensors, as I've already mentioned they're X screws which means you can use an X screwdriver to alter the height uh, depending on your preference. You also can attach a appropriate wire to extend the reach of this water contact sensor by uh, just adjusting those X screws. Now moving on to setup, first of all you need an acquirer hub in order to use with HomeKit and for the rest of this review it is about using this device with HomeKit and setting that up. So setting the device up is really simple, you open the acquirer app and you follow the instructions. Uh, you have to press the button which is simply done by pressing down on the device and then following the instructions. Once it's all set up in the acquirer app, automatically because the acquirer hub has got HomeKit support, this device is exposed in the HomeKit. Now moving on to testing the device and see how it works in reality. Now I wasn't prepared to flood my house in order to test this device so what I did I set up an experiment in the kitchen sink. What I want to do is first of all just talk about the actual profile of this device and how it sits. So when it's sat flat on the surface you can see here that the sides are raised to allow access to the contact points. So when water flows through the water goes underneath and touches those contact points in order to get the device activated. So the first test I did was in the sink which was with slow trickling water and as soon as the water went under the sensor and activated it was almost instant so the notification came through both to the home kit and it also set off the acquirer alarm on the hub now once i dried everything down and put the sensor back in place the flood alert cleared so this worked really well i did another test with faster flowing water and again the test was extremely positive the sensor responded gave me a notification through home kit and also the siren went off so overall this is a really solid device and given its price point around about $15 or £15. It's a real bargain, especially if you want water sensors in various different locations and you're on a tight budget. Now, yes, you do need to use the Acquirer Hub in order to use this device, but if you plan on investing more in Acquirer, then it's certainly still at one of the better priced options when you compare it to some of its competitors. So I think the bottom line, if you're on a budget and you want a cheap water sensor within your home in various different locations, then this is certainly a great choice and there's not many down points to it. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. It's been really appreciated and also if you've liked this video please give me a thumbs up it really helps me out and also don't forget to subscribe and if you've got a comment or a question leave it below and finally if this video has helped you make the buying decision then check out the links in the description below as it helps continue to make these videos at no extra cost to you thank you very much i'll speak to you soon